Hey, what's going on? This is Mike with BrandTheBoss.com, and in today's video, we're going to be going over ClickFunnels versus WordPress and which platform you should be using for your business needs. So stay right there. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right on into this. This is your first time on the channel. Here at Brandon Boss, we like to talk about all things make money online, and that includes doing videos just like this. So if that's the type of content you like, please hit the subscribe button. And at any point during the video, if you happen to like the content, give it a thumbs up. So how I'm gonna structure this video is in the view of a beginner, okay? The most common uh, question or concern when it comes to deciding between ClickFunnels or WordPress is, which one should I use to, you know, build my website on or build my um, funnels with? So I want to kind of break that down and, and go between the two. And so therefore, at the end of this video, you can really make an educated decision on what's best for you and your business. So when it comes to click funnels, out of the box, click funnels overall um, purpose is to uh, build sales funnels. It is a sales funnel building platform. All right, and their goal with these sales funnels is to help you sell your products and services. Now, there are a few things that you can actually do with ClickFunnels um, outside of building sales funnels, and that's you know you can build your website through them, or you can build a membership platform you utilizing ClickFunnels as well. Now, when it comes to WordPress, WordPress is a blogging platform. That is what it is. That's what it's built for. But you can also build out beautiful websites you can build out a nice e-commerce site you can do a membership platform uh, there are a number of things that you can do utilizing wordpress but out of the box it is a blogging platform so let's talk about the cost of each one of them with click funnels starting out it's 97 dollars a month you can upgrade to their $297 a month plan, which gives you uh, some additional things as well. But just out of the gate and just, just to build your sales funnels, all you would need is the $97 a month plan. Now with WordPress, WordPress is free. Now, the only way you're spending money with WordPress is if you are purchasing a specific theme uh, to you know it might have a design that you like but you're only going to be paying for themes and you're going to be paying for plugins when it comes to WordPress but you do have free options with those as well so you can definitely get a free theme you can definitely get uh, free plugins for whatever your specific goals are so let's touch on how easy it is to really use these platforms. All right. So as a beginner and you're building your sales funnels or you're, you're, you're building out your web page, how easy is it to use ClickFunnels or WordPress? Well, with ClickFunnels, out of the gate, it is a drag and drop platform. Uh, there is no technical coding skills that are needed from your end uh, when it comes to ClickFunnels. It is uh, very simple to just come in there and build your your um, your sales funnels on your website with ease. Now, is it going to look pretty? That's a different story. But with time, you get better and, and you, you can get your website or your sales funnel to look uh, better. But there are countless uh, tutorials out there on how to build a nice looking uh, sales funnel or website with click funnels. So it's super easy. It is very uh, beginner friendly. Now, when it comes to WordPress, now if your overall goal is to blog, yes, you can come out the gate and just start blogging, all right? But if you're trying to build a nice website which includes a blog and some other features, then that's a different story. And if you're trying to build your sales funnels as well, then you're gonna wanna get you know, a dedicated plugin that can you know that you can use to build your sales funnels on your WordPress site. Now, the, the, the only real drawback when it comes to doing that is the plugins are third party. So if you're a beginner, you're not only learning how to use the WordPress platform by itself, but when you start getting these different plugins to add to your WordPress capabilities, 
you also have to learn how to use those specific plugins as well. And some of them are, you know, a lot more difficult than others. And it really depends on uh, which brand uh, you actually decide to get for your site. So when it so when it comes to, you know, beginners, I would not say that WordPress is as a newbie friendly when it comes to building your websites and uh, your sales funnels and things like that. But the great thing about it is that there are videos and I mean countless of videos and different tutorials on how to use WordPress to, you know, build whatever or to get this plugin, all sort of different things. So the information is out there that you can follow along with. So that is a plus. But when it comes to comparing the both, which one is uh, easier to use? I'd have to go with ClickFunnels. Now let's talk about their customer um, support. And I'm gonna keep it real. I don't think either one of them is best when it comes to customer service. And so let's 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 dive into each one. When it comes to ClickFunnels, they do have a customer service, you know, support staff there. Um, but it's not the most time friendly. It does take a while for them to get back to you. And uh, you know, they've been getting better over time, but I would say they're not as efficient as they could be for a company that is so big. Now, when it comes to WordPress, customer support is pretty much non-existent. Um, so you're going to have to rely on actually, you know, doing a Google search for a specific problem that you actually have. You can go to the WordPress form itself and maybe somebody that's in the form will get back to you. But you're pretty much on your own when it comes to any real um, issues that you have with WordPress. And so you would have to actually go to your hosting provider to probably get the best help from them or do a Google search or search on YouTube. Um, but with the going real quick back to ClickFunnels, you know, uh, unless you have a very, a, a very big issue that a very, you know, really techie type of issue, uh, the ClickFunnels of Facebook community can actually answer most of your questions anyways. So, you know, though it's not the official support staff, they are good at answering, you know, basic uh, support type of questions, at least while you're waiting for ClickFunnels support to get back to you. All right. So let's go ahead and move into SEO, search engine optimization. All right. This is for those who are, you know, utilizing, you know, nine times out of 10, the, the written content uh, for their for their SE for their SEO capabilities. When it comes to actually, you know, ranking a website or, you know, you know, if you're building your website on ClickFunnels or WordPress and SEO is important to you, then you're going to want to go ahead and focus on WordPress. You're going to want to go ahead and build your website and your blog utilizing WordPress because that's what it's built for. Uh, not to say that you can't utilize, you know, different methods for your AC, SEO uh, capabilities with ClickFunnels. It's just that's not what, it, what it's built for. And that's where you go into the realm of of techiness. And if you're a beginner, then that's not the road you want to go to because you don't know anything about that. So if you are trying to build a website with the intent of ranking in the search engines to, to get uh, organic traffic, focus your attention on WordPress. They're the best at it. You'll get best bang for your buck, putting your efforts for SEO capabilities within WordPress itself. So let's talk about building your landing pages and your sales funnels. I mean, that's probably the most important thing. This is probably why you're watching this video. Who does it better? Who can you do it with quicker? Well, they both have the capability to build landing pages and sales funnels. OK, it comes all in house, of course, with click funnels. But if you want to build your landing pages and your sales funnels with WordPress, you're going to want to get yourself a plugin that's dedicated to that. So, but out of the gate, I would have to favor click funnels for building sales funnels because that's what they're built to do. You're going to do it a lot quicker. You're going to be able to do it a lot quicker with them. Now, there are going to be some other people who might look at this video and say, uh, -uh I'm calling bullshit on that. You can do it with WordPress just as fast. Yes, you can. But guess what? Nine times out of 10, they are expert WordPress users are have been using WordPress long enough to where they can navigate themselves through the system. 
But as a beginner out the gate, I would go ahead and go to ClickFunnels if sales funnels are your overall goal. So let's talk about my final thoughts on which one you should actually be using when it comes to building a website or a sales funnel uh, in general. And personally, I would say use both because I use both, but I have a different goal when it comes to actually using both platforms. I use them for their dedicated purposes and their needs. When it comes to ClickFunnels, I'm using ClickFunnels to build my landing pages and my sales funnels because it's easy, it's quick, and that's what it's built for. It, it is optimized to, to do that very thing. Now, when it comes to my actual website and my blogging, I use WordPress. So I would use both platforms, but use them for their intended needs, all right? I would stay away from trying to use uh, ClickFunnels to build out a, a, a whole um, website with blogging capability. All right, you're gonna you're gonna bang your head against the wall if you're trying to do that. And on the on the flip side, I would until you become more seasoned in using uh, WordPress, I would stay away from building my sales funnels and my landing pages with it. You can do basic ones, but if you're trying to do very intricate, intricate type of sales funnels that include, uh, you know, up sales and down sales and all kind of things like that, that might be like six or seven pages long, go to ClickFunnels. It's already built for that purpose. All right. And, you know, and just wait till you get more comfortable with using WordPress itself before you start diving into building your different sales funnels. So quick video, very painless. I hope that this gives you a little more clarity onto which one you should be using for your uh, specific needs. Of course, if you are somebody who is more advanced in using ClickFunnels or using um, WordPress, you do whatever the hell it is that you wanna do, okay? This video isn't for you. This is for somebody who is just stepping in and has never seen ClickFunnels and has never dealt with the WordPress website and is trying to just get a little more direction on where they should put their energy and their efforts towards, all right? So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down in the uh, in the comment section at all uh, and, and, let, and let me know what it is that you know, you're know you doing with your ClickFunnels and your WordPress. Or if you're using it for a need or a purpose outside of what it's intended to do, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are and, how, and, and what you think, all right? Other than that, Take care. I'm Mike Garvey with Brand the Boss, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.